I think there are areas where it's uh, unfortunately predicaments where the policy is ahead of the science. So I talked earlier about a handful of conditions, three beyond the two FDA approved conditions. But when you look at the 29 states in the district that have medical cannabis policies, there are over 50 conditions for which various states say cannabis is effective. And so I think a lot of times we have people who really are desperate. They want to have effective treatments available, but they're launching ahead using cannabinoids in ways that really haven't been shown to be effective in rigorous clinical trials. And so I think that's unfortunate. A typical example is, in my field, in, in substance use disorders, there are people that say that cannabis could be an exit drug, an exit strategy for people who are using opioids or addicted to opioids. And my initial concern about that is that we actually have three FDA-approved medications for opioid use disorders that do actually work fairly well. And so I would be concerned if I knew that a patient who had opioid use disorder was being treated with cannabis as opposed to one of those three FDA-approved conditions. I think there's a right way and a wrong way to do this. And when you have policy out in front of the science and people launching ahead with these policies, sometimes they're doing it in the wrong way.